from the legendary frilled dragon to the wacky pancake turtle, plus some surprisingly dangerous reptiles that are incredibly rare. Here are 10 of the most unique and exotic reptiles in the world. Number 10. Roti Island Snake-Necked Turtle By far one of the strangest and most exotic reptiles in the world has to be the Roti Island Snake-Necked Turtle. This turtle is striking to look at with its ridiculously long neck. This is one of the only turtles in the world that has a neck so long that it is unable to withdraw its head all the way back into its shell like other turtles. Instead, the turtle has to tuck its neck into its shell sideways. It almost makes you wonder what having a neck this long could possibly be good for. This unique turtle is only found throughout Australia, some parts of New Guinea, and of course on Roti Island in Indonesia. They love to hide in the swampy wetlands, small lakes, and rice terraces. This genus of turtle is believed to have diverged from another turtle genus at least 70 million years ago, meaning it began evolving into what it is now way before the extinction of the dinosaurs. The result is certainly fascinating. The snake-necked turtle is able to live both on land and in fresh water, though it prefers building its nest somewhere dry and away from the water. Number 9. Desperate Leaf Chameleon The Desperate Leaf Chameleon is one of the most bizarre reptiles you can find on the island of Madagascar. They're also one of the saddest reptiles in the world. It was only first discovered in 2012 by a doctor from Germany, and it was named accordingly Brachesia Desperata, as a way of trying to provoke thought regarding how desperately it is trying to survive. This is because its habitat is currently in decline, and the chameleon is now considered critically endangered because its home is being cleared by timber extraction to make room for cattle and to make room for crops. So, the desperate leaf chameleon truly is desperate. As for the chameleon itself, it is tiny. The desperate leaf chameleon is just around one inch long. It lives in the leaf litter in the rainforest in a cramped area in northern Madagascar that is less than 31 miles squared. They like to feed on small insects and they use their camouflage to hide from predators. When disrupted, these chameleons will play dead in an effort to resemble a fallen leaf, which they look a lot like. They are easiest to find at night when they sleep on the small leaves and shrubs. Hey, before we continue, I just want to say thanks for checking out the channel. If you're liking this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 8. Red Spitting Cobra Cobras are terrifying enough as it is. It doesn't even make sense that there are a legitimate red spitting cobra living in the world right now. This is one of the deadliest animals on the planet, but it's also incredibly rare and unique. This small cobra only grows to be around 4 or 5 feet in length, and they only live in eastern parts of Africa. And when I said this is one of the deadliest animals in the world, I really meant it. Even though the cobra is mostly into eating birds, eggs, frogs and other amphibians, it can do some serious damage to humans. It all comes down to how the red spitting cobra produces its venom. Not only can it bite you and cause pain, swelling, tissue decay, even worse, it can spit its venom at you from at least 6 feet away. And when threatened, it will not hesitate to spit or bite. It rears up and displays its cobra hood and hisses loudly. In experiments conducted by researchers, the red spitting cobra rarely misses its target, their victim's eyes. The only good news is that if the red spitting cobra shoots its venom at your face, you probably won't die. But then again, if you get the toxins in your eyes, it could mean temporary or permanent blindness. What's even worse is that according to the African Snake Bite Institute, the dangerous red spitting cobra has been known to sneak into houses at night and bite people. Number 7. The Pancake Tortoise the pancake tortoise is arguably the coolest tortoise in all existence. The tortoise gets its name because it is literally as flat as a pancake. But don't let its appearance fool you. The pancake tortoise is incredibly fast for a turtle, flexible and an unusually skilled escape artist. Its shell is indeed as flat as a pancake, but it actually helps the tortoise go faster. They can grow to be around 6-7 to seven inches long and 1 inch tall. According to the San Diego Zoo, this is the fastest species of tortoise in the world. Its shell is filled with little holes, which make it lightweight and agile. And whereas most tortoises will hide in their shell when they feel danger is near, the pancake tortoise will instead make a break for it and run away. Plus, because its shell is so flexible, the tortoise is able to crawl into narrow crevices and other tight places where no other tortoise would be able to hide. They're also pretty great climbers, which is useful when trying to avoid predators. In the wild, the only two real threats to the pancake tortoise are mongooses and wild dogs. Another really interesting fact is that when the pancake tortoise is born, it will have a domed shell just like any other tortoise. However, as the tortoise grows, its shell gets flatter and flatter. 
And if you were wondering where the pancake tortoise lives, it makes its home in the scrublands of East Africa. Number 6. Round Island Keel Scaled Boa The Round Island Keel Scaled Boa is one of the rarest and most fascinating reptiles in the world. It is the only snake within its genus, and it is found on one small island off the coast of Mauritius, which itself is a tiny island nation in the Indian Ocean. Because of the snake's incredible isolation, it was once at risk of going extinct. But there was recently a program that reintroduced rabbits to Round Island, allowing stable numbers of the keel scaled boa to return. These snakes only grow to be about 5 feet long. Their bodies are covered in tiny little keeled scales, making them look extremely unique. The Round Island keel scaled boa gets its name from the ridged or keeled scales on its dorsal surface. Very little is known about their biology, but they are known to be mainly arboreal. Plus, the snake has specialised skin cells which allow it to change its colour every 24 hours. The snake becomes darker during the day when they don't move around very much, allowing them to better camouflage themselves. At night, they become lighter while they are more active and hunting for lizards. Number 5. The Frilled Dragon It really doesn't get much cooler than the Frilled Dragon. It's the most unique and most recognisable lizard of all time. You probably recognise this animal from the infamous scene in Jurassic Park when the scientist is attacked by a giant frilled lizard while sitting in his jeep. But this is an actual animal in real life. Mind you, it's not big enough to break into your car and bite you in the face, but it's a fascinating little creature. When threatened, the frilled lizard will expand the skin flap around its neck to the size of a dinner plate. When the twin frills on either side of the lizard's head are open, it practically doubles in size, reaching a maximum length of 33 inches. This is enough to horrify most potential predators and send them running. It also helps that the frilled lizard opens its mouth and shows off its huge teeth. Where do these little monsters live? If you guessed Australia, you'd be 100% correct. They spend 90% of their lives in the treetops. They primarily live throughout the top third of the country, and they can even be found in New Guinea. The frilled lizards in New Guinea tend to be quite a bit smaller than their Australian counterparts. Number 4. Madagascar Leaf-Nosed Snake it should be no surprise to anyone that Madagascar is home to many of the most fascinating reptiles in the world. One of the weirdest looking creatures on this giant island is certainly the Madagascar leaf-nosed snake. This is a strange snake with what appears to be a leaf growing directly from its nose. The snake is the only one of its genera, which makes it even more unique. As for the strange leaf appendage growing off of its nose, it actually looks quite different whether the snake is male or female. Female snakes have more elaborate nasal appendages, whereas the ones that males have are longer and pointier. No one knows for sure what the exact purpose of these odd nasal appendages are for. Some scientists believe they might be used for sexual signalling between rival males and potential mates, but nobody really knows for sure. These snakes have not been studied as much as others, making them a little mysterious. Number 3. Marine Iguana Out of all the iguanas in the world, the marine iguana from the Galapagos Islands is by far one of the coolest. The marine iguana is the closest thing we have on our planet to an actual Godzilla. It's also the only lizard in the world that is able to swim through the ocean. They spend much of their time foraging in the sea for algae, as this makes up most of their diet. Some of the bigger male iguanas are even able to dive deep underwater to look for their food, while the smaller iguanas hang out where the tide is low and feast on the algae there. They can dive down to 65 feet and are able to stay submerged for 30 minutes at a time. They also look quite a bit different from a green iguana. Marine iguanas are darker, almost a black-blue colour, and they truly do look like small Godzilla monsters. Male marine iguanas can grow to 4.3 feet long, while females are generally about 2 feet long. Of course, if you want to get a close-up look at these little dragons, the only way to do so is by taking a boat trip out to the Galapagos Islands and seeing where they live in small colonies on the rocky shores. Here, you can watch them basking in the sun after a hard day's swimming. Number 2. Florida Legless Lizard If you live in Florida and you've never heard of a legless lizard, you have been living under a rock. But of course, not everyone knows that there are four species of glass lizard that live in the state, plus one species of worm lizard. Both these creatures are considered to be legless lizards, which are often mistaken to be snakes or worms by locals who come across them. But make no mistake, these are not serpents. These truly are the weirdest lizards in the world. Take the glass lizard for example, which has a tail nearly 4 feet long that makes it appear as though it's a snake. But if you look closely, you'll notice it doesn't quite move the same way snakes do. Glass lizards move quite stiffly, and not as slithery as their serpentine friends. Of course, the worm lizard is a whole different story. This is not only a unique reptile, but an extremely disgusting one. 
It's also never been mistaken for a snake, seeing as it looks like a big flat earthworm. But it's not a worm at all, it's something else entirely. The worm lizard can grow to be nearly one foot long, and they live most of their life underground in sandy soil. If you're wondering exactly what makes it a lizard, the fact is that it's not a true lizard. It's part of its own classification, making it very different in the fact that it has scales just like a lizard, but no eyes or ear openings. Florida worm lizards, like glass lizards, are completely harmless. The worm lizard is definitely a freak of nature, but in the best way possible. Number 1. The Gariol The Gariol is the most unique type of crocodile in the world. There's really no mistaking it for any other type of croc. It has an extremely long pair of jaws like a pair of needle nose pliers. Interestingly enough, its name is derived from the word gara, which translates to mud pot. The gharial also lays the largest eggs of any other type of crocodile. Males can be 9 to 16 feet, and females 8.9 to 12 feet. It's also one of the weakest croc species on land because of its small legs and measly leg muscles. This means that they spend almost all of their time in the water, and when they do have to move across land, they do what is known as belly sliding, basically dragging themselves through the mud. If you're wondering why they have such long snouts, it's because they need them to catch fish. Juvenile gharials will eat insects and frogs, while the adults use their long snouts to quickly snatch fish out the water. As for their native habitat, they were once found all through the rivers of Bangladesh, India and even Pakistan. But today, there are only a few populations still remaining in India, making them very rare to find in the wild. Thanks for watching! Which of these rare reptiles did you find the most fascinating? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time!